here we are down on the banks of the River Severn again after um, a long stay away because of the weather being so bad. But um, I'm going to have an explore of the beach today to find out if uh, the storms have washed up any more goodies. So um, I'm going to take you along. Tide's currently uh, going out, so we'll be able to see what we can see. So, uh, yeah, the beach has changed somewhat. Lots of stuff laying around. So let's see what we can find. Lots of modern glass down here. So, let's see what we can find. See if there's any uh, pipe stems down here. <laughs> Hopefully, there'll be some on earth. Oh, a little tiny bit of cobalt blue. There's lots of greens and what you have you about, but I think they're more modern glass. But we'll just keep on searching. Go down this way. You never know what you find. Okay, so still still looking. Ah what do we have down here? Yay! Pipe stems! Whoop whoop! There's my first piece. See if we can find some more. I'm just gonna go up and down the, the uh the bank of shale here because I'm sure that's where they're all, all hiding. And if I see an exceptional piece of china then we'll pick that up as well. Some like lime lime green coloured glass but I think that's modern bottle. It's um, lovely and warm, beautiful spring day, I love it. Hmm. Just uh, letting a boat out. <laughs> nice. Uh, a lot more driftwood and um, what have you around on the shoreline here. And look, see if there's any real good pieces of driftwood I can use for my craft work. Probably, but um, I've only been to the store, so I'm not really geared up for doing a big search today. The section I'm on now is um, very muddy. It's a thing with the uh, the banks of the Severn. One day it'll be nice clean shale, lots of fines, and then another day full of silty mud, covering up everything that you might want to be finding. But never mind, we will persevere and keep on walking down to the other end of the beach, which is just down there and see what we can find. Uh, I'm just double checking the river just to see which... Uh, make sure that it is going out, not coming in. That's the thing with the River Severn, it's such a dangerous river. You have to have your wits about you and watch it at all times. Sorry if there's any wind today, but uh, I'm actually on my mobile phone rather than my GoPro. So I'm just having a good, good scan, see what uh, what we can find. 
So I'll be back when we get uh, a bit more done on the other beach and we'll do a little bit of a roundup for you. It's a bit hard getting my eye in today, but uh, oops. I do believe we have a very worn fossil. Yeah, that's a devil's toenail, extremely worn by the river, but that is a devil's toenail or Groyphia, if you want the technical name for it. But that's not what I came to uh, to stop for. That's the secondary. Okay, so in here, if you've got your eyes on for your searching, around here somewhere, can you see it yet? I'm gonna zoom in. All I can see is a little bit sticking out, just here. Oh my God, I thought it was just a small bit. Oh wow, it's uh, quite a long piece of pipe stem with a heel on it still. Nice, oops. Yeah, definitely pipe stem. Nice. Oh, I like that. I do love finding pipe stems. Ha <laughs> ha, awesome. On to carry on with the search now. All in the most unexpected places. Got to look behind like, uh, like the big rocks. And because uh, that's where they roll and catch, but then sometimes it's in the open in the open trail. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going up and down the beach to uh, so I don't miss anything. Hopefully, so uh, I'll be back either with a roundup or another exciting find. So I'll see you in a moment. For those folks that have been with us um, on this beach before, you'll know that here there used to be more of this red sandstone with like a little hole, but that complete section there has been completely washed away by the uh, previous storms. So it just shows natural erosion of, uh, of this river. Shame. Uh, the boat has finally launched itself. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's gone around the other side of the oh, uh, the slipway. So we'll be back in a minute and I'll show you the finds. I've got a couple of bits and bobs, but not a great deal. I think it's either been picked or uh, the storm has covered everything up. So we'll see. All right, so back in a moment. I've actually stopped on the sea defence to uh, do a little bit of a roundup for you. So basically, my first finds, not very many of them, is a little blue and white pattern, just a couple of bits. Then um, I've got a couple of little bits of cobalt blue. Where are you? There you go. A couple of bits of cobalt blue. Oh, 
Ooh. Right, just dropped a piece, and then we've got this bit, which has got um, what I call like pirate glass, um, but it's got some nice iridescence on it, very pretty. Uh, it doesn't actually do it justice on here. And we found a very water-worn gryphea, or devil's toenail, as I showed in the video. And here is a lovely mother-of-pearl button. It's lost its shank in the back, but uh, a lovely mother-of-pearl button. And a couple of pieces of uh, worn glass. I mean, there was so much glass on the beach today, but a lot of it's modern. And then I found this really nice piece of manganese glass, which is, uh, in sunlight, it shines a real nice purple. And then, to finalise everything, we have our pipe stems. So, only a small selection of pipe stems today. Let's get them on here. Um, this one I showed you picking up, but yeah, very slim pickings today. I think the, uh, the last storms have actually um, covered these all back up, so not to worry. So we've got a nice little, nice little collection of bits and bobs today. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up and uh, and a comment if you wish, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.